you know, it's nice to revisit a familiar character and put him in a unique world. Uh, especially Arthur, he's like a unique man. He's, uh, he's a man with a moral compass. Gina's played by Jessica Alba, uh, and, you know, in my opinion, she's the perfect protagonist to drag Bishop back into his old line of work. I've been doing this a long time, so, uh, you know, I, I like to get stuck in, uh, and I like to do my own, my own work. You know, it's something I've, I've done ever since I did my first action movie all these years ago in Transporter 1 was the first film uh, that I kind of sort of took the reins and, and sort of got sort of my hands dirty in the, uh, in, the, in the action movie world. And, you know, from there on, I just wanted to, to continue that. Uh, and there's a great reward in doing your own sort of fight sequences and trying to push yourself and doing stunts. And, I, you know, I had a ton of experience as a kid doing many different sort of martial arts and gymnastics and different sports that can really, really give you some kind of an advantage on, on doing these kind of uh, sequences and stunts that we end up doing. There's a lot of exotic locations in this movie, and I think my favourite would have been Thailand. We spent most of the time there, and, you know, the Thai people are, are second to none in their, their warmth and their sort of generosity. So, uh, yeah, we had a terrific time over there. It's trying to keep it authentic, you know? It's trying to keep it realistic without it being over the top. Uh, I think all the, the different action that we do, and no matter what the location is, is we, we want to try and keep a, an element of realism, and that's... Sometimes that's tough, you know? It's one of the hardest aspects of making action movies. She can hold her own. She's very strong. She has, uh, she is ex-military, so she knows how to fight. She knows how to defend herself. She's not a damsel in distress. Um, she has a heart. She's not just all, you know, brute and brawn. She actually has a heart and, um, and you can tell, you know, that there's more to her than just the girl that needs to be saved. Um, but I particularly like these action movies just because, I don't know, they're fun to watch. Um, so when I got the opportunity to, to do this, I thought it would be great to, to do a movie with Jason. The character was written a bit differently before, um, and... Uh, you know, the writers and producers and Jason was um, interested in kind of elevating this genre and making her um, a little unpredictable and a little bit different, which was cool. And for me as an actress, it was fun to play that type of character. I did Krav Maga to train for this and I just felt like it would be a lot more hand-to-hand, -hand, um, much more intuitive fighting. Um, so the little moments that you see Gina defend herself and in action, um, I just wanted it to be brutal and, and real and intense and messy. Um, and, and I think we've, we've accomplished that. I've never met anybody like him. He has such discipline and, uh, and he's, his, his like, um, body awareness and the physicality and what he expects of himself. He's really operating on level 200% all the time. And so, you know, for me, it was great to see someone who took them, their job that seriously and who was going to work and, and he cares and he's passionate and he wants it to be good and he wants it to, um, to break through um, what you expect and he wants to get those emotional moments, but then he also does the action really like I've never seen in my life. In terms of the story, um, Bishop has a love interest that's been kidnapped by an arms dealer who um, holds her for ransom, and the ransom is the elimination of this arms dealer's uh, competition, and I'm, I'm one of them. What are the standards of an action movie? I suppose uh, being fun to watch, being, being cool, uh, having scary moments, funny moments, uh, romantic moments, and having, uh, seeing them all well balanced so that the, audience, audience, the time of the audience is improved to the maximum. 
James Bond fans, did you know that Skyfall is the only Bond movie ever made by an Oscar-winning director? Hmm, now that's interesting. Want more movie facts? Click on more videos. Or for the latest trailers? Click on the playlist.